Hi guys and welcome to Glencoe. This is going to be my last time in Glencoe until the snow hits. So I'm going to show you a couple of new episodes of Glencoe, uh, new episodes, new locations of Glencoe and uh, one being just off the road in that direction. I'll swing the camera around in a minute so you can see exactly where I am. But this laid by here, three words on the screen for you. Uh, this first location in Glencoe is uh, a lone tree looking onto the bucal. Um, it's been shot a few times before by other photographers, especially as a beautiful one with a nice fog bow around it. And uh, I'm going to be visiting this location now tonight for a sunset and um, I'm going to be here for a sunrise in this location as well. So let me get my gear ready and start trudging across, do some heather bashing and I'll see you at the location. Bye for now. Welcome to the Lone Tree of Glencoe and uh, well it's not the Lone Tree of Glencoe but it's a bit of a guardian to the actual uh, Glencoe Valley or Glen if you want to call it a Glen. <coughs> so absolutely fantastic conditions hopefully for a nice sunset tonight. Um, I'm just in 50-50 if you know mood to what I want to shoot for a sunset being shooting straight into Glencoe this is a fantastic location but I'm in two minds to nip down to the cauldron because fingers crossed it's looking like it's going to be a nice sunset tonight so I've just been shooting a really intimate close-up shot of that tree there getting some detail on it really fast shutter speed for that one obviously it's a bit windy so you don't want to no shake on the actual tree itself with the uh, long exposure on it. Uh, push back a bit and I'm getting an overall shot. The light just hitting the foreground and obviously the uh, the heather front and back of it is illuminating by the sun just hitting that saddle across there. It's awesome. Welcome back guys. So that's me all set up. Uh, my tent in the background just down here. Uh, made the decision to stay here and uh, capture this tree in the morning. I have drove past it on the road and seen seen it illuminating. So hopefully, with a bit of luck, I might actually get that in the morning. Might actually get some low light mist as well. We'll see. And tonight, I might even get a ping on the phone for the uh, aurora. I'm in the right position, looking north over that direction. So they might come up. You never know. But the big wide angle lens on, well, not about 18 mil 2.8 and see if I can capture it if it does come out that is but uh yes uh, got time lapse on the go capture these clouds and uh, a bit of luck they might turn a bit pinkish and uh, I'll report back to you later bye for now good morning guys and uh, quite a pleasant sleep last night uh, it's just gone seven o'clock in the morning sunrise is during about 10 minutes See it just coming up now and uh, 
capturing the lone tree still for a sunrise in law well, looking down into Glencoe Valley uh, my settings for this one obviously before I go into that is uh, you see my expensive rain cover nice shower cap settings for this one f11 about two second delay at the minute the only problem is with this two second delay is obviously with the car lights on the road so you've got to be patient and just wait until there's no cars on the road like just now oh that is nice Focus. Take a shot. Awesome. So uh, let's get cracking on. Let's turn that camera around so you can see what I'm on about. There we go. So I'm just waiting for that tree in front of me to illuminate with the sunrise coming up hopefully i'll get that gap in the cloud penetrate through and uh, create a beam of light not onto the tree but onto the foreground itself It'd be nice if a, a beam of light just came straight onto that tree wouldn't it all right let's get on let's wait for some sunlight to come through and uh, capture and create some images. See what I mean about the car lights coming through here, so it's got to be a bit patient. Right, catch you in a minute. Lovely, lovely light hitting the bugle now. So that's me done here. I'm uh, all packed up. I'm going to push on further down into Glencoe now. Um, nothing really happened with the light hitting that tree. Did get sparkles of light, you know, like the on the foreground, but nothing really stood out for me. Excellent location, though. Definitely one to come back to for this lone tree here in Glencoe. Uh, yeah, for sure. So, again, all packed up. Every place I go to, and every place you should go to, is leave no trace except footprints. So let's get on to further down the glen. Oh, look at that light hitting there. Beautiful. I might just grab a quick image of that. Hi guys, so uh, welcome back. Uh, potluck, eh? Look at that. It's that rainbow in the background there. Gorgeous. So I haven't actually left this location yet. I'm still just pushed up from the Lone Tree, which is just down here. And I've just come up to where the West Highland Way is. And this Lone Tree with this waterfall in the background. Oh, look at that. I'll just give you that shot of that waterfall there and that rainbow in the background. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So hopefully on the way back down, I'll uh, catch that rainbow. In, incorporate into the image absolutely stunning but this is what I'm capturing now absolutely stunning and it isolates this tree against the clouds and if I can capture that waterfall in it as well I reckon yeah definitely put my 16 to 35 mil lens on to capture that but look at that beautiful and I'm still keeping an eye on that rainbow across there. But anyway, let's get my camera gear up before it starts pouring down rain again and uh, capture that image. Three words on the screen where this is. It's just off the West Highland Way. You can just see the bridge just down here. That is the West Highland Way. So brilliant. Right, camera out. So all I'm doing at this location is just slowing the motion of that water down and just isolating that tree against the sky here it's turning out really really nice and my composition for this image is basically i'm bringing the water in from this side of the bottom of my frame and it's coming out this side of the bottom of my frame it's leading you in 
up the waterfall and bringing you round into a golden ratio towards a tree. Perfect example of a golden ratio image, basically the, the leading lines coming into the waterfall and bringing you round into the isolated tree. Beautiful, beautiful image. Um, settings for this location are F11, ISO 100, manual settings. I'm at about 17 millimeter for this one. I've slowed that shutter speed to a quarter of a second and I've been playing around just upping it up to an eighth of a second just to find that fine balance of the, uh, the water itself. Um, beautiful, couldn't really ask for much more for this, just off the West Highland Way. See the track and the bridge, just there. All right, let's pack up and uh, move on back to the car and get down the Glen. We'll report back later. Bye for now. So I'm uh, just sat in the car at the minute, uh, down at the, uh, well, just above the S Bend uh, River Co Rapids. And I'm just waiting for the rain to come off a bit. It's been absolutely heaving it down all day. Uh, got saturated this morning. And uh, I'm gonna, I've not really done a, a what three words uh, for you down at the S Bends and showing you it in full flow. It is absolutely loads and loads of water today, so it should be absolutely a torrent down there. So uh, I'm going to get all my wet gear on and uh, I'll see you down at the S Bends uh, River Co Rapids. I'll report back later. Bye for now. Hi guys and uh, welcome to the S Bend Rapids on the River Cove and uh, it is definitely in full strength today, excellent conditions, uh, should get some nice dramatic flowing water, uh, sky's a bit blown out but I did manage to catch uh, a bit of blackness and contrast in the sky as well uh, when I was shooting earlier. Uh, there is another photographer here, David, uh, all the way from my home county in Fife. And uh, there was another one here when I arrived, so it is a busy place, this. Fantastic conditions. So let me just run you through my competition setup. So, obviously there's my camera just down there, absolutely soaked. So, what I was achieving today was bringing the... Uh, the water from the left hand side and my bottom my bottom third and just running through and bringing you up and bringing this tree down down here this one here to the right hand of my frame and with the mountains and a bit of contrast in the sky I was shooting at a 0.6 uh, reverse grad on slowed it the motion water down to about quarter of a second, third of a second, just about adds a bit of drama to the water. So that's me, just going to pack up now and uh, have a little scout about and see what there is composition wise here. Put the camera away, dry it off because it's absolutely saturated and uh, go back and sit in the car again. So guys, obviously uh, I'm at the uh, where the three waters meet. I've just parked in the lay-by, just up there, and waiting for the cars to pass because it is absolutely a downpour here. So I'm going to wait because there's a lot of splash from the cars itself, and I'm going to show you somewhere if you're coming to Grand Co from distance and you want to do landscape photography, swipe that screen and you want a bit of shelter while you're doing a bit of photography let me show you where to go so I'll just turn this GoPro around for you wipe that screen it is horrendous so all I'm doing is walking down the road here you can see where the free waters meet on the left hand side and I'm gonna skip this little fence here underneath the bridge and seek a bit of shelter while I'm doing photography. Simple as. Not a lot of people know about this and they come here and stick to that left hand side 
and take the old tourist shots. So, just here where that water's pouring over there, we're gonna skip over the fence here and then jump down. Let me just wipe that screen again. So, all I'm doing is just jumping over here. See where I am, just jump down. And I'm just gonna make my way underneath the bridge itself. There we go. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. Nice bit of shelter. Oh, wow. Look at that for a torrent, eh? Well guys, all I've been doing here is uh, same as nearly all the locations this morning, just slowing that water down uh, to quarter, about quarter of a second and it's bringing that lovely, lovely effect onto the water itself. Misty Mountains in the background, lovely, lovely leading line of the, the actual River Co coming in, well not the River Co, it's a mixture of the rivers where, where all three of them meet. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, today, I wasn't going to photograph this today. I just drove past it, I thought, you know, might as well while we're here. And uh, I'm glad I, I have actually done it. And it's shown you, when it's peeing down the rain, you can seek shelter and uh, take your time with the image itself. So I've just got the leading line of the water coming in, massive cascade, misty mountains, and obviously the lovely, lovely birch trees in the picture itself, giving vibrant yellow colours out. So I'm going to push down a bit further, still under the bridge canopy itself, uh, staying dry, and uh, get one looking up towards the actual uh, cascade of water as well. Can actually see fish in this water jumping. First time ever I've seen that. Maybe I've caught that on the GoPro, I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Uh, yeah, I'm going to push down a bit lower and uh, I might incorporate myself in it as well. You know, uh, get one of those dramatic shots. Anyway, let's get on, grab some images. Three words on the screen where I am right now. This location, colours coming through, the only rain has actually stopped and it's been going all day and it's just stopped, which is absolutely epic because of the colours coming through. Look at that behind the bugle. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm getting the foreground of this lovely cascade and a little tiny waterfall just down here. Uh, you can take multiple images and compositions of this spot here one what I'm doing now of the leading line of the water coming in from the bottom of your um, right lower third and just drawing you in to the house in the distance and the, the bucolated more in, in the actual background there the second one is you can get really low down I'll get a shot of that as well and uh, with the bucle in the background just means you're not getting the uh, the white cottage in the background it's only lonely, only little in the background, but it makes the image as well. Fantastic location, this. Uh, got to move on from here, got to pitch up, get something, something to eat on. Bloody starving. So, I'll report back later. Bye for now.
folks and uh, welcome back so I'd done an overnight camp last night uh, to finish off in sort of the Glencoe area and I made my way down to Rannock Moor uh, camped up Rannock Moor and just look at that behind me for a sun rise on Rannock Moor absolutely beautiful hopefully Black Mountain is going to be all illuminated look at the clouds i really need to quick, quick, quickly get my camera out right i'm gonna get my camera out and i report back in a minute bye for now just absolutely beautiful this morning here on uh rannoch moor uh i've actually forgotten the name of this lock it's not it's not uh lock bar lock bar is a bit further on and across the road uh lock and um, Achilles or something like that. I'll put a text up. Sorry for my pronunciation of it. I really wouldn't like to pronounce it really. But uh, there's a text on the screen what this lock is actually called. Absolutely gorgeous. The wind's starting to pick up a bit. But I'm focusing down towards the sunrise at the minute. Then I'm going to swing round to Black Mount. Hopefully it's going to illuminate look at the pink glow just on the uh, the saddle up there beautiful right president let's get some uh, images taken might get a time lapse up so speak to you in a while well what can i say for rannock more in this loch uh, just by the a82 i uh, have been here before a couple of weeks back and just thought it was absolutely beautiful it's been shot a thousand times in the past with calendar shots and uh, it never fails this place for a sunrise with Black Mount just illuminated in the background and uh, shooting in multi directions this morning I was going to get the kayak out I started uh, pumping it up but the sun came up far too fast and it, and it was uh, and there's other photographers here as well it's just the wrong place to go kayaking and, and ruin their picture just wipe that screen so a bit of um common decency really towards other photographers as well and uh there is opportunities where you can use a kayak to get to places where it's out of reach for um yourself especially on the zoom lens but still what a morning and uh i'm actually quite glad i never got the kayak out this morning because i would have missed it all and uh, anyway, I've just been the uh, same as before, like a couple of weeks back, just revisit this place, different, uh, getting close up shots of the uh, Black Mount and using some foreground interest as well. Been firing away aperture mode this morning, let the, the camera do all the work for me. It is cold, my fingers are numb. Um, so that is me. Uh, I'll see you back in Glencoe basically when the snow hits but before that I'll be revisiting and visiting new places in Scotland but uh, as for Glencoe it's uh, I'll be uh, back here in the, the winter time for sure enjoy the images guys and uh, see you soon bye